Hello, this is Prophetess Kay McCray, and I just want to come today, and I'm I'm beginning to establish a, a dialogue of time that I want to put into play. That I'm I want to become better. It's a process, but I I want to become better, and that is just coming with a golden nugget of information so that we can we can talk about it, and hopefully the objective is to grow, not just you grow, but me grow in the process. Um, today I want to talk about habits that a man is built based on the habits that they create for themselves. If I want to become better, then that means that there's some things within me that I have to change. I was talking to a friend of mine this morning and, and they were sharing with me that from COVID of 2020, that they went into a place of not really dressing or not really putting on makeup or not really doing much simply because it was, my papers are blowing, sitting out on the patio here. <laughs> simply because they didn't have to go anywhere and they was dealing with some medical issues and in the process of that, they became lax in so many ways. And she was sharing, you know, I, I really have got to change. In my process of changing, I've got to undo some things because habits are created. And when we create habits, we frame our lives. Isn't that something to think about? Uh, I am in a place now of being stretched beyond my comfort zone and doing what I'm doing, but I want more. And when you want more, it means more is required of you. When we sometimes sit down and we look at goals and setting goals, goals are set, but in order to obtain and become successful in our goals, we have to become a whole new person, a whole new being, that we have to pull down some of the old things that we have operated in, in order to be hyphen, come, what we're saying that we desire to be. Yeah. Mm hmm so if I want to lose weight, what? I, I have to first start with my mindset. My mindset that I desire more. There's more on the inside of me. And because that, I have to be reconditioned in the way I think. So that I will drink water, more water. So that I will walk. So that I will even start with getting some comfortable shoes to walk. And then implement, follow up, process it through the walk hmm sometimes it sounds so easy but it's not um, you know we, we can look at the Daniel fast and they're saying that a fast that from psychology standpoint of a 21 21 days of doing something to undo something is a creation of a shift in a mindset uh, 21 days the Daniel fast yes yes he fasted for 21 days but I do believe that as a minimum, maybe of 30 days that you need to do to break something off your life and continue to do it, do it, that it becomes a change, that it becomes life forming, life altering. 2020, if nothing else, have taught us all that you cannot operate in a comfort zone. Nothing about it was comfortable. Absolutely nothing. So we are embarking in a new place. So I want to just, you know, come out and say, Let's just start with the way that we think. Can we undo some things? Even the word of God saying, be removed, renewed. Uh, your mind has to be renewed. You know, to be renewed. You know, when we talk about the soul, that is the consistency of three parts of the, of the soul, of the mind, how I think, the will, what decisions that I make, and the emotions. That's predicated upon what I think and what I do. And now it's how I feel because of what I thought. For example, I'm sitting here and I have these wonderful cookies that I have gotten from Sam's. Wonderful. <laughs> I have the whole bag, right? <laughs> and I'm talking about losing weight. So far I've eaten two. But in order to do that, I cannot allow that bag to control me. I have to have self-control that I control my hand opening the bag, entering the bag, exiting the bag, and putting those subs, those cookies, the product in my mouth. Mindset, change. That's the word today, change. In order to become something new, you have to be something new. This is our golden nugget moment.
continue to walk in the fullness of who you are and who you were created to be because you are an overcomer. And remember this one thing, have a great day and have a great day on purpose.